there are still people in 2024 who still have that why mindset. shouldn't i be proud of him but i'm not sharing that part hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is simply Rhoda. this video is a video that i want to be I, I need to address this because i've realized that after i did a chit chat with you for the first time and share something that is private that is a private topic that i spoke about uh, when i did my chit chat in my last video and little did I know that it was going to raise some suspicions and some more questions and stuff like that. Guys, I don't know if I am to say that it's kind of disrespect or so. Um, I think I just have to clarify one or two things uh, concerning that. Uh, it, I did get a, a, a comment under that video from somebody asking me that I should at least post my husband's pictures or videos if i am proud if i am proud of him guys i don't really know if that is the true intention of that person to ask that question or it's just a word that you really don't understand the impact of saying after all that explanation about how some people like to be on the spotlight you know some people and also another thing being on the spotlight doesn't mean that everything about my life should be in a glass box or something you know there are things that i share and for me when i come to um social media and something i try to share things that is value and uh forcing or sharing my husband against his will i don't see it adding any value to my life you know so to answer that question i want to say that i am very proud of my family i'm proud of everybody around me i'm proud of how i'm doing i was left um dumbfounded you know that i am asked to post my husband if i am proud of him did i ever say that i was not proud of him you know he's my husband he's my family you know and uh being told that if you are proud of him it's more like a threat like there are no ifs here because me coming and posting about my marriage and my business nobody threatens me nobody asked me or gave me a condition to do that so i also went ahead and explained the reason why you are not probably seeing him on my channel i explained that i don't know if you have watched the video to the end but anyway it's all up to you but the ifs uh, doesn't really work on my side here. I am proud of my husband. Why shouldn't I be proud of him? He is my family. I am proud of him. By the way, I am. I have a happy family. I have a husband who loves me. I love him as well. We have a kid that you've noticed. But I'm not sharing that part. It doesn't mean that I'm not proud of them. I am proud of them. So yes, I'll be doing this. A lot of this chit chat, guys or no conditions at all it's just me trying to bring you like to show you a little bit about my life but not that i am entitled to go all the way or to 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 share uh, according to what you want me to share am i like i said if he happens to open up and come around and he wants to you know to to do social media why not i will show you guys you surely see him but as for now you cannot uh, threaten me or you cannot give me a condition that if i love him or if i'm proud of him that doesn't really work and this is my son he just came i'm picking my son hi tyler hi. how are you why are you looking so sweaty what were you doing you're playing the game outside Oh my god guys it's very hot today it's 33 degrees but my son and his friends were playing outside kids will be kids guys so yeah we'll be doing a lot of this chit chat just sharing bits and parts but you know the main channel my main channel is not more it's not about a family channel guys it's it's a whole lot about a different thing i do share mostly about buying and building you know these are 
that's my expertise you know that's what i'm talking about and also if you are one of those that are building in zimbabwe and you need my help go ahead rush rush hurry we do have a container that will be leaving soon so if you want to be part of that or the next coming you need to do your shopping accordingly so guys thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos and uh it's summer in china and uh, it's pretty 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 hot so you find that sometimes i don't really go out to show you stuff because the conditions like i want to show you guys look at that the temperatures are like 30 something degrees they can even go above that and uh you know it's really hard to survive out there of course right now i'm seated outside i'm in the car and the ac is on so yeah the temperature in the car is quite okay quite normal so i don't really complain that much but walking outside going to the markets and show you things at the moment is not feasible guys it's really 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 hard and again in the future i would like to show you maybe our daily things what we do and um yeah there is a video i was thinking about i want and, to show you about, you know some of the things that happens between uh interracial marriages in china how they are received how the public perceive us and stuff yeah these are some things i want to share with you and also i did get um question under my video so that somebody was uh, like um is there anything about tourism and stuff like that anyway if there is a lot china is so big and china has so many places to visit uh, and they have so many places that still preserve the culture if you're somebody who is so into history you can find stuff like that if somebody who want modern places to visit you you can find that so i can say china is trying to modernize but also preserving the traditional sites or historic places so if you come to china you're gonna see it all you're gonna find it all and um yeah maybe i'll do a video about that to promote those who just want to come to china to visit and see because i know out there a lot of people have uh, preconceived notions about china there are things that you don't understand about china probably when you think about china you think about kufi you think about you know and all these things that you hear but that is not true to be honest to experience china and know more about china is to be in china so once you come to china you find that you will um change your mindset towards um in china because i'm sure if you haven't been to china probably the things you think about china are a lot and uh, surprisingly when you come here all that would change i am 100 sure that when you visit china you you have a change mindset because yeah I've heard a lot of people who traveled here and they were shocked because what they were meant to believe in the very longest time was all wrong about you know about china so once they came here they get to know the real china the media have never shown them they have never seen anywhere all they had in their mind was totally wrong you find that um it happens with every country anyway it happens there are also people who think africa is it's just a jungle you know it's just a jungle there are no houses there are no cars there are still people in 2024 who still have that mindset about africa or who still think that africa is only one giant country uh, that doesn't have other smaller or other countries in there they just think they see a black person they just think you're from africa africa is a big country a giant country that is a jungle where you live on the trees you know no supermarkets you see recently there was a video that was circulating in zimbabwe about this american actress singer very popular figure in uh, visiting Zimbabwe for the first time and how she was shocked to know that Zimbabwe actually shop in supermarkets you know that they are actually supermarkets that are huge wow to her defense she said that the media actually made her believe that maybe everything is sold on the streets and also maybe you actually go and get a life got on the street and they'll be slaughtered for you and she you know what she said like she thought maybe in Africa when she get to Zimbabwe uh, the street she will be met with the different kinds of smells and flies everywhere because that's what the media has been portraying about Zimbabwe so I don't really blame her so for those people that want to know more about countries I urge you to like travel come to China see for yourself because I know the media has that part that they go and show to the world but that is not everything about a country of course I'm not denying that poverty doesn't exist it does exist in every country and there are communities that people are struggling but it doesn't mean that's the overall 
picture about the country or that doesn't give the general view of the country by just that small minority so i think if you want to know more about china as well you can come to china if you want to know about zimbabwe and you are watching this video you know zimbabwe but you have been hearing some weird stuff about zimbabwe also i think the best is to go or do your own research or go to zimbabwe too all right guys thank you so much for sticking around and watching to this right hand so if you are one of the people who have actually made it to the last end of this video and you haven't subscribed what are you still waiting for go ahead subscribe to the channel and you know the channel is growing and your subscription means a great deal anyway in the future we are going to be starting with the giveaways for those uh, of you who get to the end of the channel and also who are subscribed to the channel and also join the channel as members we're gonna have some giveaways like things that I do mostly I do sourcing for you guys I do you know I buy things from China so we're gonna have those giveaways for all the lucky members who watched all the videos as well as sharing the videos with others it's goodbye guys I can never end I think we just say goodbye to you yeah. bye